My name is Mark Smith. The Rubicon Trail is an ancient Indian trail that goes back many, many years. It has become the most famous off-road trail in the world and has worldwide reputation. Of all trails and trail ratings, we rate trails on a one to 10 basis. The Rubicon is a true 10. The Rubicon Trail is a 10 because of the rocks and the boulders. And a person doing the Rubicon Trail for the first time, their typical remark is, I would turn around and go back because they didn't think it would be possible. But when they would see the vehicle ahead of them, they would follow through. Jeep through the years has used the Rubicon Trail for testing all of their vehicles. It was always considered the ultimate and final test of their vehicles. We have worked for the years with Jeep engineering. We've even worked with Jeep styling, development of future vehicles, what they would look like, engineering with trying vehicles on the trail. And every year, we've almost always had Jeep engineering with vehicles on the Rubicon Trail, testing and evaluating them. And if there was a little rock scraping or something, the engineers would stop, they would be out, they would be underneath the vehicle, taking pictures of it, things like that. Through the years working with Jeep Engineering, every year there would be some new development when all of the vehicles, uh, whether it's suspension, transmissions, engines, just a little bit of everything in them, and comfort. One thing I will say about the Rubicon and Jeep vehicles, there's no other manufacturer can has a vehicle that has the capability, just totally stock coming out is 100% capable of the Rubicon without any modifications. Now the Rubicon model itself, it was worked on probably for eight to 10 years before engineering was completely satisfied. Through the years, there have been two or three different models that never went to production. That once they went on the Rubicon, they went back to the scrap pile. I think the Rubicon Wrangler is one of the uh, greatest developments of all stock. It's been there. The shifting abilities, the rock track drive system, the lockers now front and rear. These are all things that have been added. It, it just makes such a great vehicle stock to do the Rubicon Trail. Rubicon, uh, I think all Jeep vehicles, you can drive them off the floor and take them almost anywhere, uh, depending on the difficulty of the trail. But the Rubicon and some of the others, yes, they're capable just the way they are. No modifications. The Jeep Grand Cherokee is one of the best off-road vehicles there is and extremely capable. And in rough country like this, I've personally taken through on the Rubicon Trail without any damage. As far as the Rubicon, Jeep is the only manufacturer that has vehicles that can do the Rubicon the way they are. And every other manufacturer has tried and made a, a run at the Rubicon, but they gave it up. Jeep has no competitors.